Hi everyone, it's Lindy on here from Pink Whisper Designs. Today we're going to make this little scene card using the Baby Critters stamp and die set from Art Impressions and also a stencil cre to create this cute little forest scene for our background. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'll go ahead and grab that second largest die and these are the Art Impressions Rectangle A2 Double Stitch Dies. And I'm going to die cut two of these. For paper, I'm using the Strathmore Bristol Smooth 100 pound cardstock, and I'm running that through my die cutting machine. I'm gonna go ahead and place that on my We Are Memory Keeper silicone mat, and then I'll go ahead and grab this stencil here. This is the Tim Holtz Stampers Anonymous Birch Stencil. So I'm gonna to need to stencil, move this stencil a couple of times here to get this entire panel. So for ink, I'm using the Hero Arts Reactive Ink Pads, and I'm gonna start with the splash. So I'm going to start with this lighter blue and just apply this all over this background here. Now I am using the foam applicator to do this, but I'm using it very gently here. I don't want to uh, pull on the stencil too much. So you can kind of pat it on and then blend it in a little bit. So kind of mix your techniques here by just patting it on and then kind of blending that in. And again, I just want to get a nice even coating of that right across the back here. And that'll be the sky for our little forest here. Now, once that's all set, I'm gonna grab that darker color, which is the Blue Hawaii. And again, these are the Hero Arts Reactive Ink Pads. So these have a really smooth application. They go on really nicely and they blend so beautifully. And I'm gonna add that darker color down towards the bottom here, and I'll keep it lighter up towards the top. Then I'll go back and blend those two together with that lighter color again. So now I can remove my stencil and then again I do have to stencil it another time so I'm just going to slide it over and just look for a good place to line this up here. You may have to just move it around a little bit until you find a, a nice spot to line it up. Then you can see there I'm just putting a little bit of purple tape right along that edge just to cover that little section there. And then I'll do the next tree starting right here. So I did the same thing on this side. And once that's all set, I will remove the stencil and you can see this beautiful background we have here. Now I did have a little tiny bit of a gap there between those two trees where I lined up that stencil. So I'm just taking my smallest uh, Picket Fence Studio Life Changing Brush and I'm just going to fill that little area in right there. And don't worry about it too much because most of this is going to get covered. So I'm just using that brush to fill that in. So to add a little bit more dimension to these trees, I'm using the Platinum Brown Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pen to add some color here. So I'm just going to add a shadow along the left side of each of these trees and then along the bottom of each of the branches. And then what I'll do is just pull that color over using the Zig Blender Pen. Now you could use a water brush here as well because these are water-based pens. But I'm, I find it, I have a little more control with the Blender Pen, so I'm just going to, again, just add some little shadows here and there. So I'm going to continue doing this all the way across this card panel. But here in a second, I want to show you something else I did to add even more dimension. So here I've completed that process. Now what I want to do is just add a few lines to these trees here. And that will, again, just give them a little bit more of a look of birch trees. So I'm just adding a little line just here and there. And then I'm just blending that out very gently. Just add as much or as little here as you want to. And again, this just gives these trees a more realistic look. And this is fun to do, very relaxing. So let me give you a closer look at that finished panel there. So we're gonna set that aside and I'm grabbing the second panel that we die cut earlier. 
So with this panel here, all I want to do is create a little grassy border for the bottom of our scene, just to kind of ground everything here a little bit. So I'm going to just kind of use my scissors, just create kind of like some rolling hills here. And that'll give us that stitch border on the bottom and the two sides. So now I'm using the Fog Hero Arts Reactive Ink. And this is kind of a gray green color. So it's going to give a nice, just a neutral tone to the bottom of our card here. But later on, you will see that I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to this panel as well, just to give a little highlight to the top of this little grassy border. So I'm adding a little bit of shadowing down at the bottom, and then I'm just blending that out. That'll sit right at the bottom of our panel there. So here's where I decided to bring in some of that lemon drop. This is a really pretty yellow. And again, it'll add just a little highlight here to the top of this little rolling hill. And then I'll go back to the fog applicator and blend that out. So now I'm going to set those aside and grab this little lion here. And we'll be using that sentiment you rule, the balloon, and that little wagon full of gifts. And this is from the Baby Critters set. And this set also has the coordinating dies as well. So now I've placed those images in my mini Misty, and I did decide to grab that little bird as well. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp these. And I'm using my VersaFine Onyx black ink to do my stamping. This is a permanent black ink. And I will stamp these a couple of times. Camera, I'm going to stamp two more of the little wagons and then quite a few more of the little balloons. I only show you a couple here, but off camera, I did a few more. And you'll see that at the end of the video. So for colors, I'm using light pink, light gray, brown, and mustard. So I laid down a little bit of that light pink on the cheeks. And then I'm going to add that mustard color for just for this face area here and just kind of bring it in from the edges towards the center, keeping the center the lightest here. And then I'll blend out the cheeks and add a little pink to the ear here as well. Now for the lion's mane, I'm going to use the brown. Um, this brown has kind of a reddish tint to it, so it's really perfect for this. And you'll see that I'm going to apply it right around the face there and then pull out towards the edges there, just to keep the edges of the mane the lightest. And then you can just keep adding shadows here and there wherever you want to. Now, this uh, card is being done, it was inspired by the current challenge over on the Art Impressions blog, and I will link that for you below. The challenge is called Lions, Tigers, and Bears, Oh My. So anything with your little critters or anything scary, or I was even thinking something related to the Wizard of Oz would be kind of cute too. But uh, I decided to do this little lion birthday card. I just thought it would be cute and fun. So here I did decide to add a little bit of the mid-brown right around the edges of the mane here, just to give a little bit more of a shadow here. And I'll just blend that right out to the edges. And if you love the, this little critter here, check out my blog. You'll find a video I did called Art Impressions Baby Critters Card where I use all of these little critters. I use them in kind of like a little jungle birthday scene. So if you want to check that out, you can find it on my blog and I'll add a link to that down below as well. So I'm going to quickly finish coloring up this little guy and then I'll show you how I colored in the little bird. Um, I won't show you all the presents and all of that, but I will show you part of the coloring on that little wagon as well. So with orange, light pink, oatmeal, and dark oatmeal, I'm going to go ahead and color in my little bird. So I'm starting with that lighter oatmeal color, then I'm adding that darker color, and I'll just blend that out just a little bit. This I did this very quickly, just adding a few little shadows here. 
And I like to add the pink first and then come in with my other colors and then kind of blend into that so I can kind of gently blend those together. And then I can remove any ink there if I need to just by scribbling it onto my scrap paper. And you can have lots of fun with this little bird coloring it in any color you want. Just can make it really whimsical as well. But I kind of stuck to this beigey tone here. And then I did a little bit of orange on the beak there. And I will quickly show you how I colored in one of the balloons. So I'm just adding that deep red color around the two sides. And then I'll blend that right in towards the center. And you want to leave that center area very light. And that'll give just a little reflection there on the balloon. And you can see I got a little extra ink over the edges there. So I'm just using my blender pen to pick up that ink and I'm scribbling it onto some scrap paper. And you can do that as many times as you need to. So now here I'll do just show you kind of how I shadowed in the, wag, the wagon a little bit here with that same red color. Just kind of putting that color up under that banner and then pulling it down. And then using the dark gray, I did the little wheels here. And I'm just adding color on the two sides of the wheel and then pulling it around. And then I could add a little bit more shadow with that same color. And then I won't bore you with coloring in all those little presents, but I will list all the colors I use down below and also on my blog so you know exactly what colors I used here. So let me give you a look at the finished coloring here. And again, I just mixed up all the colors on those little presents and on the balloons as well. And I did color a few more balloons off camera. So I'm attaching the coordinating dies with a little bit of purple tape, and I'm running those through the Sizzix Sidekick machine. So I've got everything die cut here. Now for these little wagons, I don't need the little handle on the wagon because I'm going to be adding a little string that will attach these together. So I'm just going to cut away the, uh, the little handle part of the wagon. So you can see the difference there. And I'll do that on all three of these wagons. So now I've got my card which measures five and a half by eight and a half and I'm scoring that at four and a quarter. So this is a standard A2 size card. And I'm using the Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock to make the cards. It is a 100 pound weight so it'll be a nice sturdy card. So now I've got this panel, I can go ahead and attach it to my card. I'm using the ATG 700 permanent tape dispenser. And I'll just center that here. Now I'll add that little grassy border down at the bottom. And now I just want to kind of position out the little wagons here just to see where those are going to go. I kind of want them to look like they're kind of going up and down that little rolling hill border there. And then I've got my little lion leading, leading the way here. So I've got my Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive and I'm going to go ahead and attach these. This first little wagon, I'm going to let it hang over that little panel just a little bit to make it look like that scene does continue on a little bit. Just using my pick tool there just to take out that little excess. These die cuts are so very detailed. It even die cuts that little piece between the loop on the string there. So it's really nice how much detail you get with these. Again, I'm going to have these wagons kind of look like they're going up and down a little bit. I'm just tucking these in behind here. And again, I will add a few more here in a minute. Now I'll do the same thing for the little lion. I 
And now with my Pit Artist pen, this is the black pen. This is a 0.1 millimeter, so it's a very detailed pen. And it is permanent, so I'm just going to connect these little wagons together. He's pulling it with his little tail, so I'm just going to add a couple little strings off the tail there. Now I've got my little bird, and again, you can see all the detail that this cuts out. And I'm going to pop this up with a little bit of the foam mounting tape. I did decide I wanted to add a sentiment over to the right hand side, so I'm going to place him off to the left here. And I could have stamped the sentiment earlier, but I didn't, I wasn't sure where I wanted it. So I'm going to grab that sentiment from the same stamp set. It says, You Rule. And I've placed it in my mini Misty, and I'm going to go ahead and stamp that. But if you're not too sure about your stamping, you can always do that before you attach all of these pieces together. And next, I just wanted to show you that I did grab that happy birthday sentiment as, as well from the same set, and I stamped that on the inside of the card. And I'll show you that at the very end. So now I've got my Signo Uniball white gel pen, and I'm going to add some highlights and some little polka dots to some of my balloons here. And I'm adding some highlights to those wheels as well. And this will just make everything pop out just a little bit more. And I'm adding a few little stripes to this balloon here. So it's fun. This is fun to do. You could also take that black uh, permanent marker as well and add balloons and stripes with that as well. So that would be kind of cute. So now that I've got all my little highlights done here, I added two more balloons. I just thought it just needed a little bit more in that center area here. So I'm just, I stamped and die cut two more and I'm just going to pop those right in place. So let me give you a closer look at that card and you can see that inside happy birthday sentiment that I stamped off camera and you can see this little scene and again that stenciling that we did earlier just really sets the scene for this little project. I just love that background and that could be used for anything. You could use that for a winter scene as well. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a single video. As always, thank you so much. I really appreciate you visiting my uh, YouTube channel. And leave me a comment below if you enjoyed today's video. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks again. Bye-bye.